Hey everybody, I'm Anthony. I'm here with Daryl Banks at Cincinnati Comic Expo 2016. Hey Daryl, how are you doing? Great, how are you doing? I'm great. How's the con going for you so far? Fantastic. This, this show is one of my favorites, hands down. Uh, Cincinnati's a great area and I hope everyone's having a great time. Yeah. So we don't take too much of your time, but I do want to talk to you about one of your most favorite characters that you've created is Kyle Rayner, or co-created. Yeah. Um, I've talked to you before when I was part of the Dynamic Buzz, but my favorite costume that Kyle's worn over the years, and that's including, you know, indigo, orange, white, black, <laughs> all of that, it was the original uh, 90s look. So okay. can you tell me how you were inspired to create that? Because I know you designed it. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me like what concepts you used to help, I don't know, why the, why the black and white look on it, or color scheme, because that's never been on a Green Lantern before. Well, it's more like when you think about it, it, it it's, it's not all that different. I mean, Hal Jordan had the white gloves mm -hmm. and the, the black bodysuit with the green on it, so we just kind of moved things around. But actually, Kyle's design, I, you know, I submitted lots of different designs, and so uh, DC chose elements from various designs and then came, you know, to uh, you could say a conglomerate of the elements of each design they liked, and we kind of put it into one. Now, uh, his mask, which is you know, I'm sure I, I'll agree is very unusual. Actually, the inspiration for that it was a, a Marvel character from the '70s called Sunfire. Okay. I, I love the the way that it it, it was it wasn't really form fitting, but it kind of was. I know that's it's kind of odd, but I've always been fascinated. Plus, I just like the character Sunfire. So, when it came time to come up with an unusual look, I thought. Oh, it's time to put that Sunfire influence to, to work there, you know? Yeah. Well, it's been cool because Kyle Rayner has been shown on the various social, or not social medias, the various medias. Uh, he's been in the Superman animated series. Right. He was in Justice League. And I did kind of notice that there's one episode where Jon Stewart changes his you mask. For, yeah, and I was yeah, like, that yeah. looks just like the early my 90s. My phone rang off the hook that, that, the day that episode aired. Like, did you see the episode? With yes, I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> and so uh, we've talked about it before on our podcast, but uh, my first comic that I ever got was Emerald Twilight issue 50. Really? Yeah, that's I actually had you sign it for me at, at uh, when we were in Dayton one okay, year. Jim City. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that's my first comic ever, and I had that on my wall. Well, so I, every time I see, it, I always want to like gloat about that, like, oh yeah, that was my <laughs> first comic. Like this is the guy who made this happen. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, so um, being an artist, what is your favorite character to draw? I know that you've you know done different characters and such, and like uh, we can see here that you've done Silver Surfer. Uh, but what's your favorite character to to draw? Wow, um, favorite character to draw. You know, I, there's a lot of characters I like to draw. It, 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 if you ask me that tomorrow, it's yeah. probably going to be different. You know, pound for pound, I, you know, obviously I'm going to have a connection to Kyle because, you know, that came out of my imagination. So mm -hmm. I, I can flow with drawing it very easily, almost drawing it, you know, with my eyes closed. Yeah. But there's a lot of characters that some you might even not expect for me to enjoy drawing, mainly because I didn't expect it. I, I used to do a lot of sketch cards mm -hmm. for a company. And I remember I had to draw uh, Ronan the Accuser, okay. uh, the, the Marvel uh, Fantastic Four villain. Mm -hmm. And I just had a blast drawing that character. I was like, wow, I, I, I'd <laughs> like to draw him some more. Mm -hmm. you know? Of course, it's a classic Jack Kirby design, so, you know, so there's awesome. that, you know. That's good. So, but being that you've created this, how'd you get into comics? Because, I mean, for them to come in and, and you took on this title, and I know Green Lantern at the time wasn't doing very well, um, and you kind of came in and it just took off and it changed you know, the the layout for how Green Lantern went in the DC universe. We didn't know it was going to take off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I have to be honest, I, I really thought, considering this was the the early 90s where everything was a gimmick. There was a gimmick for everything, and, and the gimmicks had gimmicks. I never thought that Kyle Rayner would, would, would last beyond just a few years because that's how things were. I mean, yeah. there were so many things that were, you know, shock value or maybe just something to boost sales, but... You know, when we, when you know, Ron and I, we decided that you know, let's make something that we would enjoy. Mm -hmm. You know, something uh, a character that people could really relate to, more like an everyman. And uh, surprisingly enough, you know, people really took to him. You know, I, I we still get you know, questions about uh, Alex, uh, Kyle's girlfriend. Yeah, you know, the famous, ask that next. the famous controversial refrigerator the scene. Girlfriend and, in the refrigerator. And, <laughs> and I don't know how many people know this, but when I originally drew that, the refrigerator door was open. Mm -hmm. She was intact. You could see her. You know, she was dead, but you could see her. And then uh, somebody somewhere said, "Oh, we got to censor it." So they they had the, the like the door, like pasted on my artwork, so you couldn't see it. All her so legs. Every, yeah, so everyone was thinking, "Oh, she's chopped up in the refrigerator." I'm like, instead of censoring it, it made it worse. Yeah. So that seems to happen a lot, though, in comic books when they try to censor things. It ends up being <laughs> right. a lot more suggestive. Yeah. 
Um, but so with all that being said, and it's, you know, they say that the next Green Lantern movie for the DC Universe is going to have all the lanterns. Are you excited to see your name up there on the big screen? Well, if they give me any, uh, any credit, I don't know about that because, you know, I came up with the name Parallax and there was no mention of me when, on the last movie. So I don't, I don't know about that side of it, but I would, it would be great to see Kyle Rayner on the big screen. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Um, any, so what are you working on right now? So do you have any projects coming up that or like where are you on social media for people to find you? That are oh, watching yeah, the video? I'm on, I'm on Twitter and Facebook. Twitter and Facebook? Mm -hmm. At what? Oh, uh, my Twitter, <laughs> what do you call it? Twitter handle is at Real Bankster. Real Bankster. And uh, Facebook, just Daryl Banks. All right. We'll look out for that. <clears throat> Excuse me, we'll look out for that. All right, so I'm Anthony. I'm here with Daryl Banks. Stay spicy, my friends.